my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new reading vlog. So I figured I would come film this intro. I've already kind of like started the vlog, but I didn't really film an intro at all for this. And there are, there's like a gap between my vlogs, which there hasn't been in a while. So I figured I'll explain that a little bit. So my last vlog that I posted was my spring break reading vlog. And normally I just like, once I finish a vlog, I immediately start another one and I just have like weekly reading vlogs. And I have a bit of a gap because I just have been having some rough mental health and uh, just haven't been feeling like vlogging and like, yeah, just kind of going through it. So I figured I would talk about some of the books that I was reading during that time that I didn't vlog. So at the end of my last vlog, my spring break reading vlog, I was reading Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Um, and I read it twice and in that vlog, like back to back. Um, and then I read it on the following Monday. So I really did read this three times in three days. So I figured I'd just mention that because I mean, I really want more people to read this. I know it's a pretty popular book, but like if you've been thinking about reading it and you haven't, even if you haven't been thinking about read it, just read it. <laughs> it's so good. I went through on my like first reread um, and annotated in it and then after I finished that reread I ended the vlog thinking like oh I'll just start a new reading vlog when I pick up a new book and then well obviously that didn't happen but I picked this up for a third time and read it again in a day and I annotated even more and it was just absolutely wonderful. So I read that and then I picked up the Emperor of Evening Stars by Laura Thalassa, which is the novella. It's like book 2.5 in the Bargainer series, which I was reading for the Fan Row Book Club. This is basically just giving you a little bit of backstory on the Bargainer on Des. And it's written from his point of view, which we don't get in the previous two books. So it just adds a little bit more to the story. If you are really enjoying the story and you want to know more about Des, then pick it up. But if you are just like, wanting to be there for like the meat of the story this is not necessary it also does give you some scenes from like the first two books in his point of view so if like you were wanting that that's what this is for but it's like not necessary to read but i did enjoy it because i enjoy the series and i enjoy Des. he's my favorite character in this series so yeah i gave this one four stars but like i said it was a reread for me and then i picked up the atlas paradox by olive blake and i got pretty far in oh my bookmark is still in there so I'm on page 261 and I DNF this. I just don't really care about these characters anymore or like anything that's going on. Honestly, of all of the characters, I really only care about Libby and we've only gotten like maybe two chapters from her in those 260 pages. And I just like, I don't know, I don't really care. It was like I was forcing myself to read this and I'm just, I'm overdoing that. So unfortunately I'm DNFing this one, but it's not like it's bad if, I mean, I liked the first one, but at this point I'm like, I just, I honestly just don't care what happens. So I'm okay to DNF the series. Yeah, I just don't care at this point. So I'm DNFing it. Like I said, I am already like well into filming for this vlog. So the next update is like a few days ago. I mean, like a week ago. <laughs> So I can throw you back to back in the past. Um, and yeah, welcome, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. It is Monday night now, and I figured that I would start vlogging just to kind of get back into the swing of things. I figured I would talk about what I'm currently reading. And then I have like a boatload of unboxings, literally like <laughs> so many packages. So yeah, I am currently reading Dark Harmony by Laura Thalassa. This is the third and final book in the Bargainer series. And I'm reading this for Sahar's Fan Row Book Club, Sahar from Basically Bookish Reads. And I am one of the co-hosts for this series. But yeah, I'm about 100 pages in. The live show is tomorrow. <laughs> I need to finish this. So as soon as I'm done filming this like unboxing, I'm going to go read more and then I'm going to have to power through tomorrow before the live show. I think I can, I think I can do it. 
think I could do it. But yeah, I'm really liking this one. So I'm having a good time. Although I will say I am not really in a fantasy romance reading mood right now. So if I didn't have the live show tomorrow, I probably wouldn't be reading this right now. But it's fine because I do really like this series. So it's not like torture to pick this up or anything. It's just not what I'm currently in the mood for. So but I do want to finish this so that it's fresh for the live show tomorrow. So once I finish this, then I can read whatever I want. And I'm sure whatever I pick up is going to be in this stack of packages here. If you'll notice behind me, I don't have anything on my physical TBR at the present moment because I have read all of the things that were on my physical TBR. So this is the first time maybe ever since having a booktube channel or just like that I can remember that I haven't had any books on my physical TBR. I don't know if I've ever had a zero physical TBR before, but I'm about to absolutely add to that. So never fear. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is not an unboxing. It's just like a book I've hauled recently and it's volume nine of Spy Family. Somewhere in these packages is volumes seven and eight, but yeah, I had them and this is the most recent one to come out. So I was like, let me just pick that up while I'm at Target because, you know, retail therapy. I was not having a great week, so I just wanted <laughs> to buy books and boy did I. So volume nine is the first one I'm going to haul. All right, let's just start taking them off the stack here. Oh, this has a nice little peel thing. Okay, maybe not nice because it didn't work, but okay. So most of these are from Pango Books. This one is from Pango Books. Oh, cute. So the book is The Dead Travel Fast by Deanna Rayborn. So I love the Veronica Speedwell series, as I'm sure you all know, because I talk about it all the time and I really want to reread it soon. But I am currently reading the Lady Julia Gray series and I'm really liking it. And so I just want to pick up more from Deanna Rayborn just because I really like her writing. I love how she crafts her characters and... This is a historical fiction. I honestly, I have no idea what's, what it's about. I just knew that I wanted to read it because it's Deanna Rayborn. So I picked this up for pretty cheap on Pango Books and they included a bookmark, which is kind of cute. It's a Harry Potter bookmark. Okay, so as I was saying, I am reading the Lady Julia Gray series and after finishing the first one, I just wanted to continue the books, but I didn't have any of them. So I ordered them all. So this is, I think, the fourth or fifth book in that series. It's called The Dark Inquiry. I got it on Pango Books. This one's an Amazon package. It's Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I saw a lot of like Instagram reels and like annotations from this book. I think it's a YA. I'm not even sure. But I just, it just seems really cute, like a little cute romance. And I'm really excited to read this one because I just feel like it'll be like really heartwarming. So yeah, I picked that one up. Okay, so it's well bubble wrapped, but this is the other two volumes of Spy Family. Oh, geez. It's like shrink wrapped. What the heck? And they're like brand new volumes seven and eight of Spy Family. So now I have all of the volumes. Okay, this next package is from Thrift Books, which I used to use all the time. And then I just started using Pango Books. But I couldn't find this on Pango Books. And I saw it and it was like super expensive on Amazon for some reason. And I found it on thrift books for cheap enough. It is one of the Lady Julia Gray novels. Oh dear. Well, too bad. Um, yeah, this one was really hard to find for some reason. And like Amazon doesn't sell it. It was like from a third party seller and it was like $80. So I wasn't about to do that. This was like $9 on thrift books. But it has the deckled edges, which I hate but whatever. I wasn't about to pay $80 for a used book. All right, another Pango Books order. Another Lady Julia Gray, Silent on the Moor. I think this is the third book, which is funny because now I have the rest of the series except the second book, which I, I did order on Pango Books, but it just hasn't arrived yet, so. Okay, and now my last Pango Books order for now because I did order more. They just haven't come yet. Ooh, 
it's All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata, which I am really excited to get to. I love Mariana Zapata's writing and I've heard such great things about this one and I'm so hyped to get to it. So I know Lachlan really loves this and I think Cammie recently read it and she really loved it. So I'm very excited to get to this one. I'm very much in a romance mood right now. So I'll be picking this one up probably sometime this month. So yeah, here's my little book haul. So now I can put them all on my TBR card and have it look alive again. But yeah, that's basically it for this update. I am going to go read some more of Dark Harmony and try to get like over the halfway mark before I go to bed tonight so that I don't have as much to read tomorrow. We'll see if I can do that, but that's the plan. So I will see you all in my next update. Okay, so this is the front <laughs> of my house. We never use this door, but this was our Christmas wreath. It's obviously, it's a natural wreath that's dying. Um, and <laughs> we had like all the snow and I couldn't get to it to take it down. So I just left it up all winter. And I was taking everything down that was out here, but right here, if you can see, there is a little nest started and I'm gonna try to get a clip of it. There's Robin's eggs in that little nest. So now I can't take this wreath down. It's just gonna have to stay all dead and brown and gross on our front door because I can't take it down because there's eggs in it now. So <laughs> this is gonna stay, I suppose. Hello, it is the next day and I wanted to give an update on my reading. Also, I have more unboxings. So I finished Dark Harmony by Laura Thalassa. The live show is literally in less than an hour. So I'm glad that I was able to finish it. I was kind of a little bit nervous that I wasn't going to be able to finish it in time, but I did. And I really like this finale. I think it wraps up the story really well. And there was a lot of like action to it, in my opinion, and a lot of like really sweet moments with the two main characters. So I really liked this one. I think when I read it the first time, I gave it five stars. And I think I would still stick with that, like maybe a 4.5. But yeah, I really loved this one. So we have the live show in a little bit, but I wanted to do this unboxing. So or unboxings. So I have a Pango order here. Oh no. It's a mass market paperback. Oh, she's a librarian. Um, yeah, so it's a mass market paperback. So that's not gonna match anything. <laughs> However, this I believe is the second book in the series. So I'll probably like hold on to it and read it so that I can continue the series, but then I'll look for a regular like trade paperback size. Ugh, it didn't look like that in the picture, but I guess I didn't look closely enough. Anyways, <laughs> now I've got a couple Amazon packages. So this is just some tabs. <laughs> I really like these tabs and I'm going to use this when I reread and annotate The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which I will be rereading probably later this week because the sequel comes out on Friday, I believe, and I'm so excited for it. The physical copy though, like you can't pre-order it, so I'll have to order it on Friday so it won't arrive for a couple days. So I'm going to reread The Serpent and the Wings of Night and read the novella that's set in that world, Six Scorched Roses, and then I'm going to use these to annotate in it so okay one more <laughs> this is yours truly by abby jimenez this is the spin-off not spin-off what is it companion book to part of your world which i recently read and absolutely loved i gave it five stars and this follows one of these side characters that we meet in part of your world and oh I'm so excited. Cami already read this and she said it's amazing and she loved it even more than Part of Your World. So I'm really, really excited to get to this one. I think I think I might read this one next. Like this is going to be my next read. That 
was a little bit rushed I feel like but that's it for this update so I'm gonna go get ready for the live show now and I will check back in tomorrow when I read a bit of yours truly so I will see y'all tomorrow It has been a few days since my last check-in. Yeah, I just haven't been vlogging. But I do have some updates um, on my reading and then I also have more unboxings because of course I do. So first update is I read and finished Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez and wow, what a stunner. Um, yeah, I got like hmm, 20 pages in maybe and I was like, I need to annotate this. So I annotated it and it's so good. This is the companion book to Part of Your World. We're following the best friend from that book. So this is following Brie and it's also following Jacob who they are like co-workers. They're both doctors. And then there's also some stunning fake dating in this as well and oh it's so good. And the anxiety rep in this is like top notch, like god tier anxiety rep, probably the best anxiety rep that I've ever read. The romance was really cute and then just like the writing and the characters, it was just incredible. I think I love this one even more, not I think, I know I love this one even more than Part of Your World and I absolutely loved Part of Your World. So this is amazing. I mean Abby Jimenez is gonna be a new like favorite romance author for me. I need to pick up her backlist. There's like a trilogy I think like a, a companion trilogy called the friend zone which I've already ordered the first book of that one but that's all that she's written on those five books I believe so yeah I'm gonna need to read all of those but yeah this was absolutely amazing and I am just like blown away by how good this was so five stars for this and then I started reading Better Than the Movies by Liz Painter. No, Lynn. Lynn Painter. Um, and I am only like about mm, 30, 40 pages into this one. So I'm not very far in at all. But this is a YA romance. It's like a childhood friends to lovers fake dating. She asks like the boy next door to fake date her so that she can get with this other guy that she's had a crush on for forever. And then of course like her and the guy next door. They have a romance. I am a little worried though that because I don't know a ton of the like movie references like is that gonna affect because like all these little hearts. Bridget Jones. I've never seen a Bridget Jones or read Bridget Jones. Harry and Sally. I've never seen that one. Liz Buxbaum. I don't even know what that is. Oh wait Liz is the name of the character. <laughs> this is the name of the main character. Wow I'm dumb. Anyways, I, yeah, I just, I saw like some quotes from this on TikTok and I was like, that seems really cute. And so I wanted to give it a shot. So I'll be reading this. I'm sure I'll finish this this weekend at some point. Hopefully I end up liking it. But yeah, those are my reading updates. I haven't been, you know, I haven't been too crazy, but now I've got some unboxings to do. So I feel like so far every update has been an unboxing, but retail therapy, I mean, it's a real thing. Okay, so here's a Pango Books order. This is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, the Penguin Classics edition. I don't know, something about this edition I really, really like. And oh, there's a little bookmark and some stickers. How cute. Perfect spring bookmark. And then some like super cute little bookish stickers. Oh, that was so sweet. Yeah, I just really like this edition. So I saw it on Panko Books and you know, I bought it. All right, next up is an Amazon package. <laughs> oh my God, they're so big. Okay, so I got the paperback of The Serpent and the Wings of Night and also the paperback of Six Scorched Roses by Carissa Broadbent. So these are two books in the Crowns of Nyaxia series. I have just been really digging paperback fantasies, just like paperbacks in general. I always thought that I was like a hardback girly, but I don't think that's the case. I am all about the paperbacks right now. So I do have The Serpent and the Wings of Night in hardcover, which was a gift to me from Rachel when she was like, 
she had just read it and she was like oh my god I need you guys to read it and so she's like add it to your wish list and I will buy it for you so I still am keeping the hardcover but I'm going to annotate in the paperback and then I have already ordered the sequel in paperback so I need to do my reread of this and then this is the little novella that um, Carissa recommends you read between this one and the sequel The Ashes and the Star Cursed King so and I've heard nothing but great things about this novella it's like less than 200 pages and I've heard that it's like so good so I'm very excited to read that Ooh, and they look really nice next to each other so yes I will be doing my reread of Serpent soon and then I'll read this one and then I'll read the sequel when that comes out but got those my last unboxing is my book of the month. Okay, so I got two books this month. I got Adelaide by Genevieve Wheeler. So I saw that this was like supposed to be like a really emotional read and Sarah from Sarah Shelves said that um, if you liked Normal People by Sally Rooney, you should check this out. So yeah, I was instantly on board. And I don't know anything about this, like literally nothing. So couldn't give you a synopsis on it, but love the cover. Also, like how perfect is this bookmark from my Panga order? Come on. And then I also got Ana Maria and the Fox by Liana De La Rosa, which is the first book in the Luna Sisters series. I think this is just like a historical fiction romance and I was really in the mood for it when the when the selections came out for the month I was like oh I'm really feeling historical fiction romance at the moment so I selected it and I think I'll still like once I get back into a historical fiction mood like because I gotta read the Lady Julia Gray books and that kind of put me in the mood so once I start like continuing on with the series I'll like throw this in yeah I think it'll be cute so again another stunning little book haul all right, so that is going to be it for this update. I will just let you know once I get a little bit further into Better Than the Movies because I'll be reading this a bit more tonight. And yeah, that's all I got for you. So I'll see you in the next update. <laughs>
it's such a good setup like he's definitely grumpy i wouldn't call this grumpy sunshine though because like she's not like sunshiny like like heartless by lc silver is grumpy sunshine like the guy is definitely grumpy and willa was definitely like sunshiny but aurora is just like she's just not overly sunshiny but the guy is definitely grumpy and i really like it and like just like the setup of it like being in colorado it's just oh I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a good time with it. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I am going to go into Michael's now and just like, I need to pick up an extra pen. One of the ones that I bought on my spring break, I really like it. And so like, I want to get another one. And I figured while I was here, cause I have some Amazon returns I have to do. And then I have a bag of books that I'm bringing to half price books because they didn't sell on Pango books. And I've just been meaning to like bring them to half price for a while now. So I'm going to bring them to half price while I'm here and i don't know shop around hopefully i'll find something and then i have this i don't know if i talked about this or not um but i'm doing like a fan row game show kind of like live show thing um on hannah blackwell's channel she invited me and rachel's gonna be there from Rainfair reader and then a couple other people um so i'm gonna be doing that in a few hours so I'll need to make it back for that. But yeah, I just figured I would check in an update about starting All Roads Lead here. And then I'm going to like take you along with me to Michael's and half price. So that's the plans for the day. Let's go. <laughs> So I just came from Half Price Books and I kind of figured I wouldn't get a lot for the books that I brought just because like they're not super popular and they obviously they have to make money. So I got like $7 or something like that it was kind of funny uh, for my little bag of books, but I found two books. Um, so I wasn't planning on getting either of these, but you know, you know how it is. Uh, I found Open Water by what's the author's name? Caleb Azuma Nelson, which is really short. It's like 150 pages. And I've heard that it's just kind of like really beautifully written. And I think Christina really likes this one. It says at the top, a beautiful and powerful novel about the true and sometimes painful depths of love. And that just sounds really good. So I got this one. It was $8. So I got that one. And then I also, I mean, I could have bought like the whole series, but I don't know if I like it. I got Witch Hat Atel atelier which hat atelier yeah um by kimon shirahama volume one so this is the first in this manga series and it was 650 so basically i got this one for free i know it's on kindle unlimited so i could have just read it like that but i just saw it and i was like you know what it's pretty cute it's pretty cute so hopefully i like that if i read this this weekend and i like it i might come back and like buy other other ones in the series Anyways, that is 
it <laughs> for my book haul uh, for today. So I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna listen to more of All Roads Lead Here and then I'll get ready for the Fan Row live show. All right, good morning, everyone. It is Sunday now and today is probably going to be the last day of my vlog. But I wanted to update and tell you that last night I finished All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. And I really love this one. I don't think it's my favorite of the ones that I've read from her, but I definitely like really, really loved it. And I think the setting of this one is my favorite. So I talked about this one a little bit like when I was in my car doing my car update. But yeah, I just really like the Colorado, like, woodsy, like, outdoorsy setting and, like, the main character was going on all of these hikes and stuff, which I really liked. And I just love a grumpy love interest. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but, like, I really liked Rhodes. I just really liked this one. I liked the single dad aspect, but his situation is, like, a little bit strange like it's not a single dad setup like I've read before which I thought was interesting so I'm not gonna say what that setup is because it was kind of like interesting for me to be like what is going on here but yeah I really liked uh the main character Aurora and I liked her relationship with Rose's son Amos who is a teenager usually I feel like when I read a like a single dad or a single parent romance the kids are like a lot younger but Amos was like 15 he turned 16 in this book. Yeah, I just, I really enjoyed this one. I think if you like Mariana Zapata's writing or you like the single dad, like grumpy sunshine trope, I would recommend this. It's very slow burn, but for me, Mariana Zapata's books never feel like too long. I just, even though this was almost 600 pages and like it is very slow burn, like they don't even kiss until like 450 pages into the book. Like, I don't know. I just, I really like the build up to that. Like you're just, by the point that they like get together, you're just begging for it. And oh, I just really liked it. So I'm giving this one four stars. I really liked it. Definitely would recommend. So other than that, my reading plans for today. I haven't really talked about this at all because I wasn't planning on participating. But April is Realmathon, so it's a month-long readathon that is created and hosted by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. And it's like uh, you pick a team and then your the books that you read can either increase your team's points or you can use them to decrease other teams' points. And then by the end of the month, you see which team wins. And I was originally planning to participate and I was like all excited. I was gonna wait to see what my reading mood was before I like pledged to do a team. And then like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I got hit by a freight train of some poor mental health for the first like couple weeks of April. And so I just like, I wasn't gonna participate. I didn't sign up or anything. So I was just like, whatever, I just won't do it this year. I'll try to do it next year. But I just like got inspired this weekend to actually join and participate. Um, I'm not gonna do like a big TBR or anything like that. I'm just gonna read whatever I wanna read and then I'll just use those books for whatever prompts that they happen to go for. But this weekend is the 48 hour peace talks readathon. So you can earn extra points for your team for any books that you read this weekend in this 48 hours. So I chose to pledge to the team Cyrus, which is the romance team. Basically, if you read romance, you get extra points for your team. Like if you read your team's genre and Cyrus is romance. So I read this this weekend. So this will count for the romance genre and the extra points that I'll get for it being within that 48 hours of the peace talks. And I have a little stack here that I'm going to try to read all today to earn extra points during the peace talks readathon. So like I said, it's Sunday. It's a little bit gloomy and rainy outside today. So I'm not gonna go anywhere. I got my hoodie on, my comfy clothes. I'm gonna go curl up on the couch and just read all day. But I have a stack here that I'm gonna try to get to. So I've got some manga here. I think I'm going to try to read volumes seven, eight, and nine of Spy Family, which I'm like, <laughs> Part of me doesn't want to do that because then I don't have any other volumes to read. But the other part, like now that I have these, I just want to read up until the point. Like I want to know all the things that I can possibly know. So I think I'm going to try to read volumes seven, eight, and nine of Spy Family today. Oh, I'm really excited. I don't, I mean, this doesn't count for my team's genre, but since I'm reading them during the 48 hour readathon time, I'll still get the extra points for it. Plus all of the prompts that these will go for. So gonna read Spy Family. Then I also plan to read Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1, which I picked up 
yesterday at the bookstore. So I figured if I'm going to be reading a bunch of manga, I might as well just like add it to the stack. So I'm going to see how I feel about this one. I've been told, like it's been recommended to me. I've been told that people think that I'll like it. So I really hope that I do. I love this cover. I think it's so cute. I'm going to try the first volume of that. And then I also want to try to read Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson, which is just like a really short, I think it's supposed to be very emotional. I've heard people compare this to normal people and I'm just curious. I didn't realize though when I picked this up because I didn't like, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't flip through it. Normally I flip through the books, but this is like highlighted and annotated, which normally I'm like, I don't want some random person's annotations, but... I also, like, I think it'll be kind of interesting. So they even have like a little key. <laughs> so I'm going to try to read this one because it's so short. It's like 150 pages. So I'm going to try to read all of these today and count them for the Peace Talks readathon since that's, you know, that's five books. So after that, I have no idea what I'm going to plan to read, but those are my plans for today. So I'm going to go get set up on the couch and Brandon just popped out to go get us like coffee and breakfast and stuff. So I'll be just like living my best Sunday rainy day vibes. <laughs> Sunday night now and I wanted to film my little outro for this vlog and talk about what I read today because I did read all five books that I had planned on reading today. So I started with the three volumes of, oops that's the back of it, three volumes of Spy Family that I have. So volumes seven, eight, and nine and oh I just love this series so much. I am really sad now though that I don't have any like volumes to look forward to. Like, I mean, I do because th the series isn't finished yet. I've been reading it for a little while now and I was able to like always be like, okay, I'm gonna go pick up the next volume. And now I have to wait until the 10th volume comes out in like October. But I absolutely loved these. I gave volume seven, four stars and then volumes eight and nine, five stars. But my favorite of these three was definitely volume nine. I loved this volume so much. It was so cute. I just, I absolutely love this. Spy Family, oh, it's such a great story. It's such a great like intro to manga in my opinion. And oh, I just loved it so much. Then I was able to pick up Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1, which I really, really enjoyed. This gave me major Studio Ghibli vibes. Like, it felt like Howl's Moving Castle if it focused on Howl and Markle. Also mixed with, like, Kiki's Delivery Service. Like, it just gave those vibes, and I really loved this. I thought it was so cute. It was such a great introduction to the story and the magic system was explained really well in this book. So I am definitely going to continue this series. I really loved it. I wish I had more volumes. I should have bought them when I was at half price, but I didn't want to buy a bunch of volumes if I didn't like the first one. So I wanted to try the first one. Now I can go buy them. But yeah, I'm really glad that I picked this up and thank you to whoever it was that recommended it to me. I am so happy that I have another manga series to like fall in love with. This was just really, really cute. So I gave this one four stars. And then I literally just finished reading Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. And wow, this was incredible. The writing in this was so beautiful. I annotated it. It's hard to see because it's deckled edges, but I did annotate in it. And the, just the writing, it was so beautiful. It's crazy to me that this is like Caleb Azuma Nelson's debut novel. Like the talent is incredible. 
basically this book follows these two people who meet and fall in love and it says but two people who seem destined to be together can still be torn apart by fear and violence and over the course of a year they find their relationship tested by forces beyond their control and the front um like blurb says tender poetry a loving song to black art and thought and it's just it was just brilliant i i mean five stars if you couldn't tell it was amazing but yeah there were so many like beautiful quotes and just like the writing like every page if i could have tapped every page for the writing i would have it was so so beautiful i know i keep saying beautiful but it literally was so i wanted to read this little passage because like it'll just give you a taste it'll just give you a taste and it was so beautiful so it's on page 67 it says to be you is to apologize and often that apology comes in the form of suppression that suppression is indiscriminate that suppression knows not when it will spill what you're trying to say is that it's easier for you to hide in your own darkness than emerge cloaked in your own vulnerability not better but easier however the longer you hold it in the more likely you are to suffocate at some point you must breathe wow i just <laughs> it's so good if you haven't read this yet and you like very like poetic lyrical writing like that and something that's like going to be kind of painful to read and very like deep and emotional like i would highly recommend this if you liked normal people if you liked a little life things like that definitely definitely check this out so yeah it was a very successful reading day for me i really really enjoyed everything that i read and that is going to be it for this reading vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. I know it was kind of um, a little bit all over the place just because like there was a huge gap for me between vlogs, which doesn't normally happen for me. And like, I don't know, I was just going through it a little bit. So I'm sorry if this vlog was like weird or I don't know if it sucked, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it, but yeah, if you made it to the end of this video and you want to let me know, you can leave a flower emoji because it was like very much like spring weather this week and it brought me a lot of happiness and peace. So leave a flower emoji down in the comments if you want to let me know that you made it to the end of this video. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.